Hi guys, in this video, we are going to talk about how to handle the out of office operation. And over here, I'm going to discuss a two way, uh, the earlier way where before the hours of operation, which is now inbuilt within the Amazon Connect was not created. We used to use the DynamoDB and the Lambda. Okay. Uh, going back to our call flow, right? Uh, so far we have created these two journeys, right? all the lambda web service call over there we have slots to capture the values now let's say if user want to talk to specialist right uh, we have to check if the specialist is available in to collect the phone or not right so that's why we have out of office operation or holiday operation and all those thing right so what i will do is i will go back to the amazon connect okay so this was the flow so far we have created right uh let me zoom in a little bit now once user say talk to agent so lex is already been created this is in one of the earlier videos that we have uh so it should be inside of branch yeah okay so if you see over here it's directly emulate that we have in hours out hours and then there is a error okay now where this uh, hour of operations is configured right so if you go back to your uh, this contact where you find the contact flow right so over in the bottom you can see hours of operation so click over there so we got the basic hours right so let's test for today okay so today is wednesday okay i have selected the time zone as uh, india asia kolkata right so let's select the wednesday one and click on edit uh, let's have the time let's say from 9 a.m to uh, what uh, 6 p.m okay click on save so this work is done we come over here uh, we click on this one specific parameters when we select the drop down you can see the name of the uh, hours of operation so basic hour you will see that that's the name over here right now click on save now if it is in hour we are supposed to play something right uh, let's say we will play this one and then since we have not created queue or nor the any agent is available i will just disconnect after that those things will come in the later videos so let's go and play something like thank you and if it is hours of out of office let's play another one which will be sorry our blah 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 I will put it over here and we have another prompt after that playing on why this is so much cumbersome okay much better now okay uh, and in the second one what we are playing thank you for calling and when then we disconnect okay anyway the other of the cases we are getting uh, we are doing the disconnect uh, let me put another disconnect so that we don't connect to same one and make the khichdi okay save and once it is saved, whoa, it's taking time. Oh, I didn't click here. Okay, publish. Okay, so it has been published. I will go to dashboard. I will go over here. Click on test chat. Okay, click over here. So the chat has started, I uh, will say uh, talk to agent and since it is within 6 p.m. right, it was, wait what happened, intent was talk to agent, oh it didn't save, okay sorry sorry, 
uh, because we didn't connect it to this one. Click on publish. Since it does not get published, it was going to the previously published flow. So let's try again. So since it is within the office hours, it was playing this message. So let's go and change the office hours to let's say 5 p.m. Right. So right now the time is uh, 5:44. Okay. So it means that right now nobody should be available. So let's test out that scenario also. Okay. So you can see that we are getting this message like out of office message. Now there is another way we can do it uh, that I will show now. Uh, if you are happy with this one, you can stop the video that will do. But uh, if you want to check about the previous or the old generation, let's say if you want to check about the holidays and all those things and many complicated features which you want to check while performing, if the office is open or not, then I will recommend you to see this one. Okay, so let's say uh, office hour check. So what we are doing is right now creating a Dynamo DB table. Okay, uh, partition key. Let's say if it is only for office hours, so we can say weekdays, something like that, or days, right? Uh, I don't have anything else. I will just create the table. Okay, and once it has been created. Now it has been created. Okay, uh, we will go to that and create an item. Okay, so days will be like which day? Monday, right? And we want what we want. Uh, so let's say start time. Okay, so it will be something like zero eight zero and we will have end time okay so let's say it is 6 pm sorry uh, it will be in this format okay so item has been created days and all this thing now today is what uh wednesday right yeah so what we will do is where is the explore items I will click over here. I will click on duplicate item and I will make it witness day. Okay. So now we have two entries over here. Similarly, you can create for the rest of the days. And if you want to have the logic for holidays and all those things, you can perform those things over here. Now, what we will do is we will go to the Lambda. We will create a function, something called, let's say, hours check okay and create a function so our function is created over here uh, we have all this thing so before moving uh, i have already created the code i will explain what i have done so i will just paste it over here okay so what we are required is we required a uh, dynamo db uh, what do you say uh npm package right so this is what we required since this is all aws we don't have to perform all the installation that we have to do for the web service one okay now over here we have a query thing so what we have to do is specify which table we are querying so right now uh days is the your primary key right so that i have mentioned as days okay so this is an example i have taken from one of their uh, AWS website how to make a query get queries right and what is the table name so our table name was office hour check okay and then this is the logic I have written for getting today's date because we are not passing anything right so based on today's date it will check okay and then I'm performing a query so this one this will return me information based on the day today's day i will get the start time and end time okay so let's 
make sure the column name is all right end time and start time and if it then there is a logic if it is within that particular time or not so accordingly now when i am going to run this one or after deploying run right it will fail so let's say i give my test event as test and click on save and once i run it right you will see that it has failed please fail okay so you will see that it is not authorized now what it means is we created the lambda we gave the table name okay but without any passing the credential and anything how it can run right but since this is within the same environment uh, of the amazon connect right what you have to do is just give the permission okay now how we can do is we go to the configuration go to the permissions and click on the role uh, the role is associated with that uh, particular lambda which is kind of a authorization instead of authentication okay now what we will do is why it is taking time yeah you can see that uh, it has a basic execution rule what i will do is scroll down and click on add, add permission attach policies okay now i will search for dynamo db mm. dynamo db dynamo db hey, wait i type dynamo db right okay so now you can see that dynamodb full access execution rule read only and lambda invocation right so but what we required is only uh, read we are not performing any write operation and all those things so what i will do is attach this policy to this one and done and i will go over here and click on test again and hopefully this will work okay so it's giving cannot read s so it is able to read now but it is not able to read a particular line so which line it is not able to read line number 38 38 is what uh, okay so output atom end time yeah i think that is what we have right so we got the item and then we got the item then we got the end item end time then we got the s we got the end time then yeah it should work right yeah now it is working maybe there was some typo now what you see over here is uh, dynamo db return as this as a json uh, but for us luckily we don't have to do any json parser and all this thing so output is the object we got uh, uh, which contains all this thing right so if you see i have console log output this is what we have printed in this item is the object so item i have put it over there dot item then dot uh, start time so dot start time and dot s so you got the value so this is how you can pull the value now what we will do is use this functionality to test it out okay uh, and so one of the basic step is go over here and add our lambda in the contact flow so before go to view before it should it to become it visible right we have to add this in this main page okay uh, so we already have this our operation what i will do is i will cancel this one okay now what we will do is check uh, where is the integration integrate i will call the lambda okay now this lambda will be calling our check okay now we will get the output so we will do the check where is the check uh, check contact attribute now it is external what is that variable name that we got is office open okay now remember this is based on the 
uh, time zone okay uh, yeah, one thing i forgot to mention so now this is executing in the lambda which is deployed in london region okay so now the time zone will be shifted to london rather than india so right now in the uk it is uh, 126 one and a half is going on okay uh, so quickly let me go over there in the contact flow i will mention over here condition equals what we are getting uh, execution result true so if it true it means it is working hours if it is not then it's a out of office hours okay easy peasy i will click on publish and let's go back to the previous uh, this one so remember the last journey was out of office again i will specify talk to agent and hopefully we should get that okay we are able to connect now now what i will do is just to make sure that uh, our functionality is working fine i will go and perform edit to this one edit item okay now the end time was 6 pm let's change it to what is that 1 pm 137 right so let's make it to 13 so one o'clock we will close and let's run the test case again talk to agent and hopefully we should get the uh, right wait what uh, okay so i uh, found the issue that uh, the hours that we are using right in this calendar date so it is taking uh, gmt not specific to uk time zone right so the calendar object which creates it gives the time as right now as 12 34 right where in the uk it is 13 34 so we got with the go with the assumptions that was the uk time zone but it's a calendar object has to be created with the same time uh, zone right now it is taking gmt one okay anyway i have modified the end time as uh, 11 o'clock okay now when we execute right uh, this one I am getting proper value as false. Okay. And if we execute again, come on, talk to agent. Okay. So now it we got the uh, working hours as close. So, yeah, that was uh, how we can check for uh, out of office hours or holiday and all those things. You can do all those mechanisms uh for office hours you can directly use the inbuilt functionality which they have created uh, hours of operations this one and if you want to do more like holiday or anything like uh, emergency close and all those things you can always configure into database and pull the value from lambda hopefully you like the have liked the video uh, as always like share and subscribe if any query put in the comment section thank you